I went from uh, from picking cotton to becoming the chief of police in Tampa. So that's a great accomplishment. It's been more than 30 years since Minnie Holder was sworn in as the first black chief for the Tampa Police Department, a position the little boy from Georgia never thought he would be in. His childhood dream was just to become a police officer. This little boy excitedly pointed at the officer and said to his mother, that's what I want to be when I grow up. Disappointingly, his mother told him that blacks could not be police officers. This was during an era that did not afford such opportunities to blacks. Fortunately, the whispers of this little boy's mother fell on the deaf ears, and at that moment in his life, a seed was planted. Dreams become reality when reality is more than a dream. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've never seen a, a black police officer, nor has my mother. So uh, that's when I you know, told her that that's what I want to do. And unfortunately, she didn't live to see that dream become a reality, but I'm sure she was watching when I was appointed, so. So many others watching too, like Holder's executive aide, Ms. Ida Walker. She's worked in the chief's office for 32 years with eight Tampa police chiefs. I was really so proud because when you, um, when you, when you don't have you know, uh, people that look like you, you know, in that position. And then, you know, when you get the first, I was just really so proud, but I was even more proud that he didn't just use, you know, being a black police chief, you know, for his position. He wanted to be the chief, you know, and wanted to lead as the chief. I was proud of that, you know, the, the city could see you know, the um, inclusiveness of the department and the changing of the way it was, bef you know, uh, before. Changes that the department still reaps the benefits of today. He accomplished a lot during his time as chief, but there's one thing that always stands out. We was able to get this building because of my relationship at that time with, with uh, I think it was Sunbank at the time, and I was in the leadership forward uh, seminar with the president of Sun Bank. So we started talking about the building because they was getting ready to move out. And uh, I told him, I said, you know, we need a new building. That building is blue. Natural color is blue. Think about the, the relationship with the community if you gave us that building. I'm very proud of that because when I drive past this building, I think, you know, you know, naturally, I wanted your crime to be done. I have a well-trained police officer, but I, I think that's probably what I feel the most personal accomplishment. But his accomplishments reached far beyond a building. I believe he made a great impact, especially when it comes to, you know, minority and women. I didn't do it just because it was females and minority. It goes back to... I recognize that they could do the job regardless of the sex or the race. Today, he wants young people to look at his story and be inspired. You can accomplish much more than you can ever dream. Basically, I tell them, you know, if I can do it, anyone can do it. You know, just, you know, and I truly believe in, you know, hard work will get noticed. So this your old always right here, huh? Yeah. Can I look at it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, any day. Yeah. Uh-huh.